Hi, everyone. In recent years, a stigmatized cross-national seduction community has emerged, composed of young men ostensibly dedicated to learning techniques and mindsets that can improve their success with women, or GAME. It's easy to deride these young men and their professional pickup artist or PUA instructors. But before we sneer, we should ask why these men get involved in this community. Perhaps it isn't about seeking a hedonistic high through an overdose of traditional or what some call toxic masculinity, but instead it's a lack of meaningful masculine influence, leaving men searching for alternatives. The seduction community phenomenon should not be dismissed as a weird fringe movement for the industry is estimated to be worth over $100 million and tens of thousands of young men are involved in online courses, boot camps, and other activities. One in-demand PUA instructor alone, Julienne Blanc, has a YouTube channel with over 140,000 subscribers and 15 million views. It's big business. And when something is big business, it's because there is a lot of demand. Of note, men participating in this community are highly stigmatized. They've been called creeps, perverts, and misogynists by elements of the mainstream media. But there has been very little actual research on the ordinary rank and file young men involved, despite its popularity. And when McGill professor Rob Whitley and a student, Jackie Joe, did an ethnographic study of men within this community, they found a common factor shared by many participants, fatherlessness. To understand why men get involved and what impact it has on them, Whitley and Joe went beneath the surface, conducting in-depth interviews with 34 young men in the community and spending considerable time hanging out with them over a one-year period. The results, recently published in the peer-reviewed scientific journal PLOS1, were both surprising and poignant. One of the key themes to emerge from this study was father absence. Many participants poignantly describe the absence of fathers from their lives due to parental divorce, dislocation, bereavement, or other factors. And many noted that this father absence meant they lacked a strong male role model growing up, including guidance and mentorship on how to be a man in later life. A key desired aspect of being a man for many was having healthy and satisfying relationships with women, and in many cases with a single woman in a monogamous relationship. And while it's easy to sneer at them as just wanting to get someone to go to bed with them, we could ask if it's either fair or wholly accurate to portray them in this way. Some men in the study linked the absence of a father in their lives to a range of self-reported psychosocial deficits, including poor social skills, low self-esteem, and a lack of confidence. And many reported joining the seduction community, not to get laid, but to in part help address these psychosocial deficits and find male guidance and mentorship. To quote one young man in the study, my parents divorced when I was five. I went to live with my mom. I would see my father every second weekend and he passed away when I was a teenager, which was a big turning point in my life. I never had any masculine role model or mentor that would teach me. And another stated, I was raised by a single mom, so I never really learned. I never had a fatherly figure. I was clueless with social skills. I mean, I had so much trouble making friends because I switched countries when I was young. I had no guidance, so I figured out about the game, and I was like, let's look at this free method and learn some techniques. On reflection, these findings regarding father absence and the need for male guidance should not astonish us because they overlap with much existing scholarly literature the marriage rate in Canada is currently at its lowest ever, with the rates of divorce over 40%, with large proportions of young people being raised by a single parent. Statistics from the Department of Justice indicate that mothers are awarded exclusive custody of children in almost 80% of cases in Canada, with fathers often permitted only minimal time with their children. Why does father absence matter? Well, it's unfair to fathers who are prevented from real and equal involvement in the lives of the children they love. But there's more. Research also indicates that father absence harms the social development, mental health, and psychosocial well-being of children, especially boys. Exactly what the participants in Whitley's study lamented. Young men involved in the seduction community have been highly stigmatized by the mainstream media. There's been remarkably little compassion 
or effort to understand the underlying causes. It's often taken for granted that they're just more disgusting predatory males. But Whitley's study reveals that they're often men in pain, trying desperately to address painful psychosocial deficits, including a lack of social skills and subsequent loneliness that arise from father absence. They're not always looking simply for sex. They're looking for affection, support, mentorship, guidance, and meaning. Instead of simply blaming and berating young men for getting involved in this stigmatized community, we should surely be putting some energy into offering alternative support. There are acutely few programs oriented specifically towards improving the mental health and well being of young men. And family law far too often deprives boys of meaningful and substantive contact with their fathers, with long lasting, painful, and troubling consequences. We hear today a lot about compassion, and rightly so. Here also, it's time to show some sympathy instead of pure stigmatization and ridicule. It's more humane and more effective. So if you disapprove of men getting involved in this community, please help us work towards creating healthy alternatives. Thank you very much.